Hi guys, um, today we're going to do another comparison between uh, C Sharp and Rust. Um, this is based on a video I made a few yesterday, I think it was. Um, and I did mention in the video to be a little bit more fair in the comparison, we would need to use String, uh, string Builder. Um, instead of all that all this really does is it takes a string and appends it to itself constantly and in C sharp obviously you're gonna have issues with that uh, reallocation and so forth and uh, so it does slow things down drastically um, but uh, okay so if, if you see that code that is the original code I had the other day and uh, this is the Rust code it's the equivalent the only real difference is that the this sum string is mutable in Rust you have to make it mutable else you can't change it and in this case, we want to change the string because we keep adding itself to itself. And uh, in C sharp, we're doing the same thing. We've got a string and we keep adding to itself. And uh, let's make this a bit neat here. Okay, so let's do the original run again and uh, just see how long it takes. Remember, it's in release mode, 64 bit. And um, yeah, it should take somewhere around about 25 seconds, I presume. Let's see where we get today. I did give myself an extra 300 and something meg RAM to this virtual machine um, just to help things on a little bit but um, Rust and C Sharp are both running the same virtual machine so it is reasonably fair comparison and nothing else is running uh, there's no antivirus on, them, on at the moment in Windows I disabled that and uh, yeah we're still running okay and uh, there we go so this time it took 34 seconds okay that's even worse than it did before um, let's just run it again and just give it another chance okay it's running um, just now we could also have a look at uh, the memory allocation perhaps how it's climbing but uh, yeah let that run this will be a quick video um, just a quick comeback for the previous one just to give C sharp a bit of a extra chance it's showing off some of its actual speed capabilities if you do things a better way. Okay, still running. Okay, we can all agree that this is slow if you look at the time, about well, 36 seconds. So it's it's got even slower than it did the other day. So the percentage uh, was over a thousand times faster for us. It's definitely much faster today. Um, don't know the reason. I did do a, a the latest uh, update of Windows. I don't know if that's affected anything. Um, okay, let's just run Rust quickly, and uh, let's just see what it comes up with. Okay, release it. Done. Okay, 33 milliseconds versus whatever Windows was. Um, uh, C Sharp was. Um, ah, I seem to have killed that window. Okay, but it's it's over a thousand times faster. Um, but like I say, let's be a little bit fair. Let's uh, give sharp, C Sharp a bit of an, a chance. So what we'll do is instead of working with a simple string, um, let me just get to that code. Uh, instead of using just the basic string, we will use the string builder. Um, it's a correct way um, if you are going to uh, do a, a lot of, uh, uh, pin a lot of strings together. And uh, all right, so this is a bit of a test I did here previously. Let's just get rid of some of this. Uh, so all we want is that. Okay, so so what we're doing now is we're basically doing the same thing. We, we, we are pending a string. Okay, uh, why is I a problem here now? Uh, some string equals, what's he complaining about? Uh, converts cannot a string to string build. Oh, sorry, sorry, my mistake. Okay, so it's uh, some string dot append okay so now we've, we've basically got the same code um, or functionally it does the same thing um, we're building up a string um, through a loop and uh, well in it used to take over 30 seconds uh, using just a string itself data type now we're actually using a string builder the correct way to do it in a, a loop you could uh, pre pre allocate some memory um, to the builder. Um, I've tested it; didn't make much of a difference in this case, so we'll leave it at that for now. But um, okay, so let's run Rust again. Now remember, C was thirty something seconds. Uh, yeah, C sharp is thirty something seconds, and Rust is uh, thirty three milliseconds. We'll run it again. 
uh, 21 milliseconds, run it again, 30 milliseconds, 22, so to 18, oh, that took very slow, 50. But there's things running in the background, obviously, that affects it. So, so well, I mean, well, I don't know what the average would be. Let's just, so let, let's just say 25, all right? 25 milliseconds for the hell of it. Okay, and uh, if we go to C Sharp, and we now run again the optimized version. It's in release. It's forced to X64, and we're using a string builder instead of just appending a string to itself, all right? And uh, let's start, it should be very quick. And there we go, 51 millisecond. Okay, so that's about as quick as what uh, Rust was at its slowest. And uh, we can try this a few times. Um, so control F5 again, 39 milliseconds. So uh, I don't know, what did I say? Rust was in the vicinity of 25. Um, so let's say, C well, we'll give C sharp another go. Just uh, 34 and uh, one last one. Um, what is that? Also 34. So let's say 34. So it's approximately 25 millisecond versus 34 millisecond, um, which equates to, um, so let's say 34 divided by 25. That means uh, Rust was 36% faster um, in, in this case, not over a thousand times faster. Um, that, that's the difference between using just a string and a string builder when you're doing something in a loop. So yeah, the important thing to take from this is uh, if you are working with strings in C Sharp, um, in most cases, String Builder is definitely the way to go. So uh, there, I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope I gave C Sharp uh, a bit of a comeback there and uh, made everyone feel better about the speed of C Sharp. Anyway, chat again, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.